All right, now I have a uh, track shield this data sheet open here and here you can see there is a lot of data here almost it feels like it's a never-ending data so when i'm scrolling down this data i may not remember which column represents what value so i need the titles of the columns at all time to do that we are going to have to freeze the pane now before we do that let's just give it a color that we will make it look like a heading now we are going to delete the first three rows here to do that we're not going to drag uh, all the cells in a row like that it will be quite impossible what we're going to do is we're going to click on if you click on row one here as you can see the entire row has been selected so i'm going to uh, click and drag select the three rows then do a right click and then click on delete now the first three rows has been deleted now what i'm going to do is go to view then freeze panes and then go to freeze top row now top row has been frozen now when you uh, uh, scroll down you can see that i can uh, always see the title of each column because the first pane of the row first row has been frozen okay so that is very useful now what i'm going to do is all the data here all the data is here they are not uh, aligned at center so i have to align them at center to do that i have to choose all the data like that so it, it may take quite some time so to solve that problem what we're going to do is we're going to select the first cell of the data then we're going to press on control and shift together and holding on to that press i am going to press the side arrow on my keyboard as you can see excel has chosen uh, all the columns that are containing the values in that row and then i'm going to keeping hold on the control and shift button i'm going to press on the down arrow button and all the data has been selected now now i'm going to align it to center and all the data has been aligned to center now what i'm going to do is i'm going to find the maximum and minimum derivative stress to do that we're going to use two simple formulas for finding maximum values we're going to use the formula equal max then give the first bracket and then we're going to choose the first cell of the derivative stress column and then we're going to do the same thing press on control and shift and then press on the down arrow then all the values has been selected now you close the first bracket and hit enter now you can see that the max value has been found to find the minimum value we're going to have to do the same thing equal now the formula is m i n min first bracket choose the first value then press on control shift and down arrow all the cells have been chosen and then close the bracket hit on enter and you have found the minimum value as well now to know that which time contains the minimum value you have you'll have to look for it manually right well that can be a very painful job when you have this many data so what you're going to do is we're going to use the find and select go to find and select go to find there we go now go to options after that we're going to be looking for the value within this sheet not within the entire workbook which contains other sheets as well and we're going to search by rows and then we're going to look and we're not going to look in formulas we're going to look in for values okay so choose values and then we're going to have to give the value here so that is four seven seven three point one six two okay now after you have done that just click on find next and here we go so this is the minimum value in the entire divider stress column so it is for let's see now let's just close this one and it is for 2 3 20 20 15 47 all right there we go now we know which value which time actually contains the minimum amount of divider stress value okay so 
that is how you free space, how you find maximum and minimum values from a large number of data and then that is how you can find uh, a specific, uh, specific data from a lot of data all right so that was it for this video hope you got to learn something new and thank you very much for watching if you have found the video to be useful please like and consider subscribing to the channel as it will enable me to make more videos like this one thank you